Hi guys, so here we are, Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. I'm currently going bottle digging. It's raining, it's windy, there's a storm here, and I'm going bottle digging, yeah. So I'm sitting on this back road just now. I'm about to head into some woodland where previously me and Andy investigated. Andy was meant to be here with me today, but he kind of chickened out. I think he's seen the weather and thought, fuck that. <laughs> to be quite honest, I'm not going out in that. And rightfully so. <clears throat> and uh, if he'd any brains. You know, if I had any like him, I wouldn't be out in this either. But yeah, I thought I'd give a wee trench in the day. It's about half two, start work at six, so yeah, I'm going to trench for two hours. Then I'm going to head to work, so yeah. I'll get back to you guys in the first hit and I'll let you know what I get. Right, so I finally made it into the woods. I've kind of semi-dug a hole, I'm about two and a half, three feet. First bottle, check this big pictorial beer out. Beautiful, original stopper. Pictorial, GNC Moor, Glasgow. Look at that, I've not got one of them, that's going straight in my collection. Lovely pictorial beer. That's going to start his off this morning. Beautiful collection piece. And yeah, let's see what else we can get. A lot of bland stuff coming out so far, sauce and that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep trenching. And I'll go back to you if something good comes out. Well, here we go, I've had some more out. We've got a Symington Co. Which is Edinburgh. I think it's a coffee in chicory chicory essence coffee in chicory it's having cave-ins here <laughs> oh look at that nice cave-in thank you have that lovely bottle stopper thank you very much right where'd my pipe go now right give me a wee second well here we go i've got some more finds i've lost my pipe i'm going to find that it's either down here or up there it's a good pipe. Inkwell. We've got saucy sauce. We've got bovril bottles. Got a lovely big mineral. Let's have a look and see who it is. Because I haven't looked at it, but I just know it's pictorial. I just have to wipe it with my jumper. AD Strafide. Mulgai, big Victoria waterfall on that light. Let's get that kind of looked at. I've struggled for light here. I've seen my pipe. He's fell down. Look at this for a beauty of pipe. The R A O B is it? Looks like a moustache. That's a beautiful pipe. Sorry about the condition of this video. It's just uh, pouring down the rain. I'm out in a storm. Broken AG bar bottle. Back in, sauce, it's getting buried back in as well. Big whiskey bottle, I don't take them, whiskey or wine, one of the two, or a beer. Probably most likely a whiskey bottle. Don't take them either. Little small kind of maids. But yeah, they're going back in as well. Maybe somebody else will appreciate them. We've got S's, Camp Coffee and Shikori as well. But yeah, I'm going to call it a day just now. Going to take my beer and my mineral and my pipe, and uh, yeah, I'll continue this digging Sunday with young Derek. Up to the video. <coughs> First thing out the back walls is just a stoneware ink. This is where we're caving in. Good nine feet. Easy all the way down. And uh, yeah, that's how you become successful in bottle digging. If you don't dig for the stuff, you will never get it. Hi guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. I'm looking a bit windswept. <sighs> what a hole I've dug a day. At least a nine foot I'm just now. I'm just about to move into the back wall. It's been an epic dig so far and uh, some of it you're going to see come up in the video. And uh, yeah, so let's go into the back walls and uh, yeah, and show you what we get. Well here we go, I've just had the second bottle out. And yeah, there you go, an Essence Camp Coffee and Chicory. Peter Patterson, sorry, I should say Glasgow on it. Lovely coffee bottle, there you go, nice. There you go, that's an old one, old blob top mineral. Finley McDermott, Glasgow. And that's a beautiful little mineral, that'll go in with my collection. I don't know if I've ever found a cod or anything like that, or Finley McDermott, but yeah, there you go, some minerals are there. Surely they must have made a cod or something like that, or a beer bottle or a ginger beer. So here we go, here's another couple of finds that have come out. I'm not sure if this is just a big pickle jar 
still gets the original stopper in it. Would you drink it for a million pound? I bet there's somebody out there that will. <laughs> This is a gutter, it's an AG bar beer bottle, smashed, just came out the side wall. I'm just about to muck out and get back down and back into these walls again until it all collapses in. But yeah, that's an AG bar beer bottle, smashed, shame. <coughs> By the way, when I throw them out, we clean all this up after this, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Next one out was a Jayor Comri Mineral, still with its original stopper, which is nice. Nice Jayor Comri Mineral, that's the third or fourth one of these I've had this week, so yep, let's keep going and uh, see what else we can get well Derek's just had a beauty out of his hole just in here and of course that's a London Stout RW Cairns Glasgow Stout Bottle woohoo! get in, that is a wee beauty well done mate there's a few Stout Bottles that come out I got a Weir Street Paisley a few weeks back here there you go, there's a little London Stout out oh. if anybody can tell us the age of this bottle let us know. Well the next one out is just a little marmalade or jam pot that's come out. <coughs> little cordial bottle, I think these are juice bottles, some of them are stamped AG bar. Yeah, sauce bottles, sauce was popular in this area as I said for the fish. Fish was minging. Two sauce bottles, Worcestershire I think it is. Or Worcester sauce. already filmed that one, we've got a lid for St Helens probably yeah St Helens London next find is a little bottle stopper nice we've got a I don't know what that is, possible perfume bottle or something like that well there you go there's a lovely little wink well that's came out as well and then we got another Inkwell, would you believe it? Two inkwells, woohoo, straight from the bottom. There you go, two lovely little inkwells. There you go, I've just had one of my favourites, it's a full clay pipe. T McLachlan, there you go, you can see that pretty well. T McLachlan, and that's a Glasgow clay pipe, I think that is. Oh, it's the Workman. There you go, a lovely Workman clay pipe. T McLachlan and the workman that's going to be me of the day because i've pulled out some goodies a day well, we've got some more bland bottles med bottles and stuff like that i think this one's a tavu boot polish yeah tavu boot polish it says boot dressing some more dross lots of it today sauce you just chuck them back in the hole and if somebody wants them they can come along and dig them back out I think that's a truffle jar, is that right Derek? No? Oh, pickle, pickle, probably. pickle jar, sorry, there you go, pickle jar. I thought it was a truffle jar. It could be. I've never saw one that size. Might be. Well here we go, look at this little beauty. Hunter and Benny Glasgow party. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Probably Hunter and Benny Cod. Get in. That's what we like to see in it. That's what we dig for. We dig for the goodies. And uh, anybody that takes home dross every day of the week, well, that's because you don't dig right. And, uh, and if you took a little bit note of how we do it here, then maybe you would have, you know, a hell of a lot more finds. Well, I've seen a few of these here before. That's like a little salt or seltzer or pepper. It's in the shape of a little mushroom. <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? We'd have obviously went up there and there maybe been a cat on it. Your, your salt would have just come out, the cap would have went on there. Very nice. Well, this is a bottle, it's got a stopper on it. It's actually got what looks like blue stuff in it. Possibly ink that's in that. Could possibly be ink in that. You can see it inside it. Looks blue. I'd probably go for ink on that. It's going back in as well. Another little sauce bottle. Bovro Limited, two ounce. Never had a rare one of these. There is a rare one of these, isn't there? With a bird on the front? For the early one? No? Maybe am I just making that up? I don't know. Somebody can let me know if I'm just making that up. I thought there was an early bovro with a bird or something like that or a picture on the front. I don't know if I'm just making that up or not. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd seen one and somebody said it was an earlier one. So if I'm right on that, let us know. 
SCWS Shield Hall. I think it's an Essence Coffee and Shikori. Yeah, Essence Coffee and Chicory. Very nice. Going back in. More sauce. And Dross. This was a heartbreaker of the day. That was the first cod that came out. And uh, yeah, there you go. McDonald Bon Hill. Still haven't managed to get one of these fully whole. One's got one I had as a hole in it, one's got a crack on it. So yeah, one day I will get one hole. That's the mission. That's what we've got to achieve here. We've got to get one of these holes. Well there you go. Bottle made in France is the next one. That's that that's Derek's fault. I'm eating. <laughs> He's feeding me Jaffa cakes. <coughs> another dross bottle. And another big AG bar. So yeah, on that note guys, I'm going to call it a day for this video. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon. And if you dig a hole, always make sure you fill it in. This is close to being filled in now. What happens is you put your drawers in at the top, and then you fill it in, and then somebody comes along in 10 years' time and thinks it's not been dug, and they'll dig it again. <laughs> so on that note, guys, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now.